Uh, today in this video, I will be studying a new topic that is based on the wireless technology. So in this video, we will be discussing regarding the operation modes in Bluetooth. So Bluetooth is widely used in many of the devices like in laptops, personal digital assistants, as well as mobile phones, as well as in millions and millions of devices. So let us understand how these Bluetooth works actually. So here is a diagram based on how Bluetooth will be working like there is a laptop and there is a scanner there is a PDA that is the personal digital assistant and there is a wireless mouse that is a Bluetooth based mouse. Now uh, this Bluetooth operation works by means of sending a beacon signal now this operation modes in Bluetooth is consisting of three major of the modes that is the hold mode, sniff mode as well as the park mode. Now the park mode works by sending a means of park address for every 10 seconds. Now this address is sent in this diagram to a scanner which will give up its active address and will give it to the trash by enabling that the scanner has been enabled and its work is being done and now it is being removed. Next is a hold signal. Hold signal will be of 500 milliseconds and this ranges are its maximum range. It can be even uh, extended to some extent based on uh, the users or the developers uh, behavior. Next is uh, the hold mode that is hold mode will be sent for 500 milliseconds and the hold is sent to the PDA that is the personal digital assistant and it will sniff those signals from the hold and it will be sent to the mouse and this wireless mouse will have a sniff mode of 50 milliseconds and ultimately this is how the Bluetooth operation mode works. Now let us understand this each of these modes in detail that is first is the hold mode. Hold mode is a temporary process that is typically entered into a device when there is no need to send voice or the data information for a longer period of time. It is used to release the device from actively communicating with the master. This allows the devices to sleep for shorter periods of time to discover or to be discovered by some other or any other Bluetooth devices to get connected into the PicoNet. So hold mode is a temporary process. Now it works like if there is one master and there are many slave devices and if each of them wants to communicate on a round robin fashion then hold mode comes into picture. Next is the sniff mode. Sniff mode is the power saving mode and it will sleep as well as listen. Now this mode is used for listening only a specific type of commands. Now in Bluetooth operation there are many types of uh, operation modes or like many kind of signals that are going to take place. So sniff mode is particularly or mainly used to hear specific kinds of or uh, of high alert commands will be heard by the sniff mode. Now what this sniff mode mainly does is that it reduces the power consumption as the receiver can be put to stand by between the sniff cycles. Means if one device is sniffing then other device can sniff between those cycles and it can do the work accordingly and hence uh, it reduces the battery life and improves the shelf life of the device ultimately. Next is the park mode. Now park mode is the deepest modes of all these sleep modes. Now remember these three modes majorly in Bluetooth are the sleep modes in basically. So park mode is the deepest of all these sleep modes. Now it is also a temporary process or a temporary mode in fact which deactivates a device to allow its active member address to be received. It works by a means of a beacon signal as demonstrated right here 
and if the beacon signal contains the address of the path device the device will reactivate and become part of the pico net means in path mode mainly we communicate by means of a beacon signal now this beacon signal contains a park address now this park address will be assigned to those devices which it wishes to communicate now whenever a master sends a beacon signal to its slave device then the slave device will identify whether its active address is there or not accordingly it will function and communicate as well so uh, this is the device and it will reactivate and become part of the pico net so ultimately when it uh, works gets over then it will empty into the thrash as seen like here now here a park address is being sent to the scanner for 10 seconds now after the work of the scanner is being over then it will give up those active address and it will dump it into a thrash memory so that other devices can also utilize the same operation mode so this is the operation modes of bluetooth in detail hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please give a thumbs up thanks for watching this video